So hi you guys, just out having a quick uh, trial run of these, new CBR500. Nice little bit of kit this one. And the paintwork on this is really nice. Orange and black on this one. It's got the standard Honda HISS system, security system on it. I'm just going to take this one out and uh, give it a quick ride for a customer. And obviously we normally blog about all of these bikes so uh, this one's currently got 12,000 miles on it well, just shy of 13 now the only thing that I did find about riding with these Hondas is obviously the indicators and the horn on the Hondas are in reverse on this so every time you go for the indicators you're going to be banging the horn every time you go for the horn you're going to be smacking on the indicators but it's something you do get used to with these bikes and something that is a learning curve on them nice colour display of all the buttons though and we're going to just be taking this one out and giving it a ride in just a second a nice smooth clutch on this one And you've got a nice clear view of all that instrumentation as well. So a nice view of the rev counter, clock, and your mileage, all on track on that one. grab a handful of front brake and just see what the braking response is as you can tell it does brake very very quickly on that front end straight up through the gears and it does feel very very torquey pulls away nicely in second gear so ideal town commuter on this one And riding position on this, the seating is very, very comfortable. Knees nicely tucked in behind the tank. Now the only downside of this bike that I do not like is that the customer has changed it to sports pegs and you could only get about half of the foot on the peg. They are very, very short pegs, so it does make it very uncomfortable on the feet if you are running a long distance ride. Other than that, very responsive, very talky through the gears. And as an urban commuter, I can see this being at 500cc, a nice little bike just to get you backwards and forwards for the work. Just weekends out, have a little ride out on these things. So it's quite a nice little bike. clutch on this very responsive as well just go for and as you can tell it's a very fast pull off on this idiot and as usual I've just done the typical kind of a sacky thing and gone for the horn button instead of the indicators but even from a very low RPM pulling out it is really quick off the mark obviously just go into that front brake again and just pull it that clutch up and it does stop very very quickly gut-wrenchingly quickly
there is a lovely bird one. A customer does have the uh, aftermarket can on this one. There's a nice little burble coming from the back of that cab. Obviously looking down at the front of the bike, I do like the way that everything is all out in front of you. It doesn't take sort of long, you don't have to keep flicking your head down to look at the clocks. So, quick look at the eyeballs down and it is very, very quick to see what's going on. Engine braking on it also very very quick to pull you up. And then once again pushing that just put that power in. Torquey response of that CBR engine. Straight up to 60 again. And obviously on a very, very windy and cold day like it is today, you are very, very upright into the uh, slipstream. But the bike is still very, very stable. And once again, it's an ideal little ride. Asked if I would buy one of these. It would be something I would consider as a daily commute, yes. If it had the standard Honda pegs on it. These pegs are really uncomfortable for me to shift down on the gearbox. Really uncomfortable. I'm literally resting on the, uh, the middle part of the arches of my feet and I've got about half a foot on them. My feet are sort of tending to sort of slip off the edge. It feels like they're going to come off, but they're not. But yeah, this is, this is a very, very nice bike to buy, you know, personally. I would have one. And obviously if you outweigh the costs that you would uh, spend out on one of these, you've got the, uh, the Honda name behind you. So obviously the reliability. And then just throwing it through these corners. It does stick like it's on it's on glue, you know. Obviously catching up with the uh, escort vehicle that I'm with. That does bang far, you know, bang home very, very quickly. Masses of acceleration on this bike. personal choice obviously as a sports biker I prefer to be down behind the bubble or at least slipstream in the wind the wind is pushing hard against my chest on this you know but then again you've not got the ache that you get in your wrists and shoulders that you would get on a sports bike low speed handling very very well it does throw itself into the corners very very quickly so, I am pleased with this, you know. As a lover of my sports bikes, I'm very impressed. At the performance, uh, you know, and the uh, rideability of this machine. And especially at Milton Keynes, where there's a lot of roundabouts, it does perform very, very well through the corners. So, muchly impressed with this. Even though I am absolutely freezing, <laughs> it's probably about three degrees today. Uh, that's the fun of all weather biking. And once again, working your way through that six speed box, very, very quick off the mark. And 
once again that engine braking does come in very very quickly.